What's going on everybody? The first garden update for 2024. And I'm doing something different this year. I'm putting all my plants in co different containers than the galvanized tubs or the round containers that you saw in previous videos. The containers that you see here are 27 gallon totes. And so far, I have early spring vegetables and eight of them. And I plan on planting more vegetables and more totes. I'm going to give you an in-depth look at what's growing in each totes. And show you. That hopefully things will turn out pretty successful. And two of these totes are beets. I tried to find a different variety of beets, but the only ones I could find were Detroit Dark Red and I planted them back in March and it seemed like they struggled because of the weather which was pretty weird this year but looked like so far things is turning out pretty good at some point when they get big enough I'm gonna have to thin them out but I'm trying a different fertilizer to see if they will actually respond well to the fertilizer and hopefully they'll actually grow pretty quick this year but we'll like to see if I can find a different variety of beet to grow like I did in previous years to actually have a good sized beet or beets this year but hopefully things will pretty good be pretty good I was deciding on whether I should thin them out at all because most varieties tend to grow better in the cluster than solo so we'll just happen we'll just see what happens in three of the containers I have kale and so far they're doing pretty good but in one of the containers which is in front of me I have two other vegetables growing in this before I put the planted the kale in this container at first I planted turnips most of the turnips or almost all of the turnips actually pretty much died out but this one tend to survive so I reworked this container and I decided to plant carrots when I thought the carrots died out some actually survived as you can see here so I'm not going to do too much to this container I'm just going to let it go and see what happens to see if I can actually have an assortment of vegetables growing in one container and see how it works out Speaking of carrots, in this container, right beside it, is carrots. And so far, they're doing pretty good. Some of the warm weather that we did have actually helped them a lot. And pretty soon, when they get a good size, I'm going to have to thin these out as well. And 
and hopefully I'll actually have another successful carrot crop and the same with the beets I'm going to try a different fertilizer it doesn't have a whole lot of nitrogen in it so hopefully my carrot crop will do pretty good this year in this container I have a combination of spinach and lettuce you see the spinach is growing on this side and down this strip right here is lettuce the other plants that you see are just weeds so probably after this video or later on this week I'm going to actually have to weed this container so the weeds will not take most of the nutrients away from the vegetables and we also have some new spinach coming up they're pretty much late but some of the other spinach look like they're doing pretty good I'm thinking they might be too close to one another but we'll pretty much see and then with the lettuce I'm going to have to thin them out a little bit more there's some right here that grew in a bit of a cluster but we'll pretty much see what happens in this container and lastly in this tote are potatoes now the story behind this is that one of my family members actually had 10 potatoes that they kept in their pantry for a couple of months. I explained to them that I tried to grow potatoes before and it didn't do too well. So they said, give it a try this time, but do something different. He said, instead of cutting them, just plant them whole. So that's what I did. I didn't think they were going to do anything. So I just put about five inches of dirt over them and just said eh, we'll just see what happens and as you can see these are the potatoes that's coming up now when I was working the dirt in this container I spilled some of my beet seeds I thought I got them all but apparently I didn't because there are some beets growing in this container as well. I figure I'd leave them and see what happens. But if it interferes with the potatoes, I want to take them up or take them out the container. So hopefully I'll actually have... A crop of potatoes to show you in a harvest video so that's pretty much it for my garden update if you like what you see leave a like if you have questions comments leave it in the comment section thanks for watching and happy gardening